All right. Oops. Shit. <laughs> squirrels. Yes, the squirrels are just there to sacrifice, essentially. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, I just got to turn the sound back on. All right. J Buns with the gifted sub. Bongle B. Welcome to the Lobster Club. Hell yeah, guys. <laughs> no arms. Are my arms gone again? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Who needs the arms? My shirt's going to be gone too. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just a torso. <laughs> if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're back at the start. We died trying to fight the trapper yesterday. yesterday. Just ahead. <laughs> the Black Knight. Chubbles with the gifted sub. Broken salvation. Hell yeah. Gifting the sub to Allison. Janik, yeah, no banter today. Sorry, it's gaming. <laughs> oh, well, too bad. It is what it is today. <laughs> Martin, nice to see you, man. Thank you for the hundred biddies. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Throw me in the water. Call me Bob. Okay, raven egg, beehive, or moose buck? Let's read. Three cheers here. Ooh. This is interesting. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, man. Like, I have to try this. But Bajas is so good. But we got to see what this is all about. <laughs> How am I ever going to play banjo again? No arms. Play with my feet. Um. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want to try, should we go to the wood carver? Okay, so we can either do wood carver and try and like upgrade a whole like class of cards. We can do the fire and upgrade one card or we can do the sacrifice. Give one card sigil to the other one. <laughs> Play with the feet. Watch some paranormal shit. Oh, wait, wait, Bob the Builder. <laughs> A lot of money in the feet banjo business. Um, let's go here. Let's see what the wood carver can give us. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Okay. Bird blocker one. Hmm. I don't really like either of those, to be honest. Take this one, I guess. <laughs> uh, if I switch the scene, I can see myself. I see that I'm just like a little head. And uh, it's weird that it's cutting off my arms and not, um, not the shirt. But whatever. It's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Witness. Let's go with the witness. Thank you, Jay Buns. All right. Um, what should we say? I guess we'll do this. All insects are bird blockers. Without another word, the wood carver was gone. <laughs> yeah, can you believe it, Nim? I just had a sip of water. That disgusting shit. Long sleeve shirts when I green screen. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't think it's that big. Okay, we got the stoat, the wolf, and the beehive. Let's see. What are these? 
these assholes. And then he moves. Just... Yeah, I is if you can see my face, it, I'm not really too concerned about the arms. My arms are literally just sitting here, anyway. But if it's bugging you guys, we can change it. Okay. Stoat will take one damage. I could sacrifice the stoat for the wolf, but I don't know if that's necessary just yet. <laughs> Torso streamer. <laughs> I don't know. I've, that's uh, I'm not sure about that yet, Jen. The stoat's always giving you shit, and only the stoat and the stink bug are talking cards. But they have both hinted that there's a third talking card somewhere, but I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta look at the face, unfortunately. I know it sucks. Guys, thank you for that hype train. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, where the hell are we here? Okay, let's get the... Uh, get the wolf in there. Done. <laughs> yes, I guess I had the game. Cervantes, good to see you, my dude. Oh shit, do we have a lobster boss? Is that a lobster boss switch up? Stephen Hughes, dude, do you want me to? Uh, I'll hail, and uh, I'll play a tune, man. Let me know what song you'd like to hear. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Some female animal, the other talking card thing. Yeah, I have no idea. There's the decree. Steven, do you swear to abide by the decree of the Crustacean Council? All hail Stephen Hughes. Lewis Tubbs or Reginald? Definitely Tubbs. Tubbs is the shit. He does. Steven, what song would you like to hear, my man? It must have been when he, I think he cheered 500 biddies earlier. Said you can have it? All right, what's your request there, Colleen? Oh, now Steven says, honey, you. <laughs> I want to allow you to take more items. In their stead, take this. Uh, yep, use the items. I just haven't used them yet. Get a pack rat card. Dirty juice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to trust. Let's do Dirty Juice. Uh, okay, let me just pause this for a sec. Let's switch. Oh, yeah. Colleen. There you go. All right, real quick, Foggy Mountain. And then, we're, uh, then we'll go back to the game.
There it is. <laughs> totally, totally lost the ending there. <laughs> there you go. There's some, uh, there's some Foggy Mountain for you. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Good one, Cervantes. <laughs> More like bluegrass style. Yeah, I, I'm working on like a bluegrass, a real bluegrassy style song right now. Any freebies? What do you mean? You just got some freebies. <laughs> How's the fart game? Fart game's coming along, man. It's, it's tough to find the time to work on it. Um, I wish I could work on it more, but... Um, after this next tour, I'm going to dedicate some more time to it. Uh, that's probably what we'll do tomorrow on the stream. Tomorrow or at least one day next week before I leave, we'll do Fart Game. All right. Let's get back to inscription. <laughs> t-shirts you never win uh no no raffle what are we at right now 15 10 10 subs and we'll get a raffle <laughs> yeah that was weird eh <laughs> cult deception <laughs> yeah it's just blowing in the wind sarah you need to go I hope your eyes working. Damn, I hope yeah. Shit. Um let us know how the appointment goes, Sarah. <laughs> no arms to all. Yeah, well, what was that was kind of weird, hey? Why did that happen? Hell yeah, of course, girl. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Have an awesome, awesome evening, Sarah. And good luck tomorrow. All right. Okay, so this guy, all of the hoofed animals are bird blockers. All right. I don't play with birds a whole lot, so... Not a bad idea, but maybe I should start using more birds. Should we get tubs in there to just whoop some fucking ass right off the hop, or what? Does three damage. So we could, if we take one hit from this guy, we can kill him. So let's do that. Um, let's get tubs. Here. Because he's going to come this way. Attack here, attack here. I'll take one hit, then the next move he'll come here. And we'll kill him. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. Hey, <laughs> yeah, who is Ghost of Pigeons Past? I have a feeling that that's someone we know. Um, <laughs> who just made a new account to, to troll. Okay. Let's get a B and we'll get the bullfrog going. Where do we put the bullfrog? Just here. Got him, got him, got him. Fallen Angel, what's going on? There's Ku. There's <laughs> Who are you? Who are you, ghost? <laughs> Maddie or Naomi? Yeah, I wonder. 
<laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out who this is. I'm so curious what this card's all about. Oh, another thing. Um, since it's a new... Oh, no, never mind. So we must have gotten everything we can get from there. There's a couple of these that we still need to find out. Nam with the gifted sub to Ghost of Pigeons Past. Ghost of Pigeons Past, whoever you are, welcome to the Lobster Club. <laughs> okay, um... We got full items, so let's go this way. Doesn't look like it's Naomi, because Naomi's in here, but unless you just switch in accounts real quick. Pronghorn, Grizzly, Kingfisher. No. Elk, Skink, or Tunk. Let's go with Tunk. Okay, so basic idea of this game, you're you're basically in this like log cabin playing this card game against this shadowy figure. Um, you there's other little secrets and puzzles in in the uh, the cabin. We've solved some of them. We solved this photo one, uh, solved this one with the safe. There's a couple other ones, but don't really know. Like this clock, I'm not sure what this clock is all about. Not sure how to get these things. Um, and the card game is essentially like you're just... Uh, I'll explain it again on the next battle, but you're, it's basically just like a strategy. Like it's just like a, a battle. A battle game. Yeah, and it's definitely a little bit confusing. <laughs> but yeah, it is creepy. Creepy and cool. Yeah, maybe Morgan. Who else? Maybe Maddie. Crackling fire. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhance its power, said another. Not you as far as you know. <laughs> Carl, what's up, dude? Uh, this game is called Inscription. Okay, let's upgrade the attack power of one of these guys. Let's upgrade tubs. Let's whoop some ass with tubs. You considered leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. Definitely pull away. I'm not risking. I'm not risking tubs. Her lunch break ended just as the stream started? Sure, sure it did. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your tubs. <laughs> the gamer, my missing arms. Okay, so I'll kind of give you the cliff notes version of how these battles work. Um, okay, so you start with a random draw of four cards. One of them, so these bees, basically, they cost nothing to play. Um, uh, the other cards here, you see like these this blood thing in the top right corner. That's the sacrifice that it requires to play that card. Um, so, for example, the B costs nothing. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. So I can play the B, and then I can sacrifice the B. That's one sacrifice to play this Tunk card. Sacrifice that, and I can play Tunk. This is how much uh, health each card has. This is how much attack power. Um, and then these symbols on the card do various things so this arrow means it's going to move to the right after his turn this uh oh actually shit i didn't think of that yeah that's shit that's okay um this skull and crossbones means uh he'll kill the other card in one hit regardless of how much health he has um and the basic idea is you want your cards to attack empty spaces uh because for each empty space attack you get it'll put uh, golden teeth in the scale and you win when you get your opponent's scale all the way down so you're basically just trying to clear out these cards and attack empty spaces is the, the basic idea and then it's like resource management So I'm 
gonna sacrifice the bee. We'll put a bullfrog in here, so we'll kill that wolf cub. There we go. Done. Done. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, guys, go nuts with the clips too. <laughs> go nuts with the clips. The more the merrier. I basically just want like a big bank of like, oh, we're doing a walking stream today. I can post like, here's something funny that happened on the last walking stream. We're doing banjo today. Here's a you know banjo thing. So go go crazy with the clips. Yeah, that's just kind of the short version. I don't want to sit here and just like explain too much but Ghost Opinion Pass it created their account in November 2019 interesting okay maybe it isn't someone that's fucking with us maybe it's just <laughs> a coincidence <laughs> adder pronghorn I like the adders because they have the one the one hit kill although they are a little bit costly to sacrifice two things but We got full items. Let's go to the wood carver. Destro, what's up, my dude? How you doing? How the hell are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you doing? <laughs> Bird activist? Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone from PETA. Someone from PETA is coming to, coming to get me. <laughs> That's true. You can change your name. I didn't even think of that, Nikki. So maybe it's just someone we know who just changed their name. We got this card info is life, attack strength, level of sneakiness to kick your arse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Demand adulation, praise, and general love. Hell yeah. Good for you, Karenzy. Good for you. Guys, everyone go follow Destro. Destro's a really awesome, nice member of the, our little Twitch community here. Trying to do as little work as possible, my man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, they're stuck with it for a while. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Bifurcated strike is pretty sweet. Nim with the gifted sub to Destro. Let's go. Destro up to the Lobster Club. My man. Uh, let's take the bifurcated strike and let's say... And I guess we'll do insects. Bifurcated strikes. Without another word, the woodcarver was gone. Yeah, if they've only been following for 40... So, yeah, interesting. Whatever's going on here, we, we got a real mystery on our hands. <laughs> Hell yeah, Cervantes, do it. It's a good one. All right, first boss. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. A haunting clanking sound permeated the fog. Yeah, maybe it's the shadowy figure. Oh. It was the prospector. Yeehaw. But wasn't the count created in 2019? This is gonna summon Vecna. Is that a Stranger Things reference? Cause I've seen some of the memes, but I haven't seen season four yet. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I gotta watch it, man. I, I, I've only seen season one, so I gotta, I really gotta watch it. I'm gonna summon, summon Ligma. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, let's kill this fucking pack mule as quick as we can here, so... Tubbs is the man for the job, absolutely. So we're gonna sacrifice a bee so that we can play Tubbs. We're gonna put Tubbs here so that Tubbs attacks this pack mule. Um, I should play one of these smokes, may as well play some smoke. You don't want this smoke. Other smoke just yet, I don't think. That should be fine. 
look at that. Holy smokes. One hit. Oh, yeah, I forgot that he turns these into gold. Son of a bitch. There's gold in them cards. I forgot about that. Oh, it's a character in D&D. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's an old Twitch account. But they've only been for following for 42 minutes, right? <laughs> there it is. Nice, Josh. <laughs> So it's either it's either coincidence, or it's someone who knows the pigeon meme who's been on Twitch for a while who didn't hasn't followed. I don't know. I can't. I can't think. <laughs> Got a few jobs to do. No worries, Jamie. Have a good rest of your day, my dude. Always great hanging with you. Gold. I've struck gold. Maybe get the pack mule in or something. Tunk's pretty, Tunk's pretty badass. Uh, so let's pull a B and get Tunk in there. Get him. Okay, let's see. Let's just let's pull a B. We'll just play the smoke. Oh shit, does he give the mule, does the mule come back? <laughs> yeah, I noticed that too, he's he's shaking, shaking. Yeah, Lurker, or seen some of the YouTube VODs, <laughs> whoever it is, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued. Yeah, I know the mule gives you cards, but I didn't know the mule came back though, because we killed, uh, as soon as we killed him on that, like after the very first move, he removed the mule and the and the coyote, and then played this uh, this guy here. <laughs> so, let me relight your candles. Well, there it is. Pair of tits in your bag. <laughs> Amoeba, child 13, or Urayuli. Urayuli's badass, but four sacrifice? That's crazy. Um, It's pretty random. It's pretty random. What does this one do? When a card bearing a sigil is drawn, this sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Okay. Or child 13. So this is just a constant sacrifice. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Ooh, that's a good one. So I think that means you can sacrifice it, but it still stays on the board. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Hell yeah, Naomi. Have fun. Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. Tepid water flooded your boots. Flies swarmed around you. You had entered the wetlands. All right. Um, let's see. I always forget what this one is. Is this the trials? Random card. And then an item, we have full items. Uh, let's do this. You had to stop streaming. Damn, that sucks. I hope uh, everything's okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What is that? Is that the insects? Insect, bird, or reptile? Let's go with reptile. Yeah, skink. Ghost has left the building. <laughs> Weird. Oh well, whatever. All full, but... I forgot. Always useful. Into a rippling heap of muscle glory. 
Laura, what's going on? Games night it is, hell yeah. Welcome in, welcome in, nice to see you, how are you doing? Ah, interesting, okay. Oh man, so I went to, uh... <laughs> Not shown in the list, truly a ghost. Um... I went to, like, do the, the exclamation point story like get that command working today and i think i fucking this game like you really can't look up anything because i think i spoiled another huge huge part of the game for myself yeah i agree nikki whatever <laughs> whatever um okay i know man i know i just like to, to do the like usually you can read it was literally the first sentence in, on the wikipedia thing and i was like fuck like i think it i think it ruined something for me um so yeah because usually i have like the the x the story command exclamation point story and it wasn't even for that though josh it was just to like if someone does exclamation point story in the chat it gives you just a little if you're wondering what game is this and what uh you know what's it about so I wanted to just take like the most basic info for that and throw it in there, but fucking spoiled something for me again. I think a plot point. So I think there's two big things that have been spoiled. Lame. Lame. But. Okay, we got a bullfrog. You get tubs in there again. Whoop some ass. What does this one do? When a card bearing this sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to health. Okay. Let's just get tubs in there. Whoop some ass, tubs. Yeah, it was so lame. I was like, wow, thanks a lot for that spoiler. Coyote coming, adder. We need to let the rattler take this hit because anything I play here will die. We're also very close to winning, though. Actually, so let me just do. Let me just do that. Let me do. Uh, doesn't really matter. I think we'll win on this one right here. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Use my, my. I actually have. Yeah. I uh, I used it, I can't remember, like a day or two after I got home. <laughs> How dare you, Goat Rider. Alright, which way do we want to go? I want to avoid these battles as much as possible, so let's go this way. Time for dinner tomorrow, last day of work, officially on holidays. Hell yeah, Elanuka, congrats. Have a good last day tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Um, and someone asked, is this the last stream of the week? No, there'll be one tomorrow. Same time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We'll either do Fart Game or Banjo. I'll figure it out. Go for the fire. Did I miss it? Let's take Bert. Bert's a fucking badass. Look at Bert. Bert's a bad motherfucker, man. Fire? Alright. Excuse me. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Excuse me. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power, said one. Alright, who do we wanna <laughs> Who do we wanna upgrade? 
Tunk's already got the one hit kill. They can like one of these, excuse me, one of these custom cards, either Bert or Tubbs. Let's turn one of these into just an absolute killing machine. Maybe on the Adder? The Adder already has the one hit kill though. <laughs> you dare me to keep pressing plus? Oh, I see. Keep pressing plus on the adder? Okay, fuck it. Let's do it. You consider leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. Let's push it. Luck was on your side. Perhaps one more moment? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, but you sense the risk was now even greater. Push your luck further or run back? Let's go for it again. Oh, shit. Before you could pull away, one of the survivors leapt upon the adder. Another jabbed it with a spear. You looked away as a grotesque feeding frenzy ensued. Blood and bones flew left and right as you retreated from the scene. All right. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Got way greedy. <laughs> Got greedy. I'm a greedy boy. Uh, so this one's different each time you play it. Okay. Um, let's just take another look around the cabin. I like to do this every now and again. We're going to see if this changes. I'm just going to set everything to 12. And we'll come back in a little bit and see if that clock actually moves or if you have to just like set it to something. Girl with the gifted sub. Maybe try to hit the next fire. What? Girl with the sub to Nick. Hell yeah. Haven't seen Nick in a while, but Nick, welcome back to the Lobster Club, my dude. <coughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Maybe try to... Wait, what? I don't get it. <laughs> Pick what? So random. Did you see the Swiss Chalet ice cream? <laughs> ice cream and hot chicken sandwich. No, I haven't seen that. Uh, good to see you, Neil. How are you doing? <laughs> Taking off as well, Flobel. Alarm goes off at 5. Damn, dude. Hell yeah, Flobel. We'll see you again soon. Have an awesome day. Erg, arg. Oh, I see. Let's just say eating a poison snake isn't so good for those guys. Ah, okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, this, I see. Wait, hit the next fire. I got you. I got. You. I see what you mean now. Uh, tomorrow, same time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Hell yeah, we got Tunk, we got a Porcupine, we got the Bee, we got the Stink Bug with the Bifurcated Strikes and reduces power to anyone up next to him. Um, so we want to kill the Coyote probably. Who should we get in there first? Tunk? Let's get Tunk in there. These guys are annoying. This like tail thing. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. So you can't attack it when it's submerged. You have to, like your attacks just go straight to your opponent. So these guys, you can't really kill them. Uh, yes. Uh, pop in, guys, because someone dropped the Discord link. Um, pop the pop into the Discord. Um, that's, that's the place, if you want to keep up with the stream, that's definitely the place to do it. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. On a quick poop break? Hell yeah. Yeah, no worries, Neil. I just hope you're doing good, my dude. Hell yeah. If you're not in the Discord, guys, and you want to hang out with us in between streams and keep up with the schedule and announcements, etc., that's the place to be. Yeah, Tunk moves. Fuck, I keep I keep not looking at this one for some stupid reason. Uh, let's see. Let's 
Let's get the porcupine in there. Stink bug in there with the bifurcated strikes. Yes, got him. Got him! Hell yeah. Yeah, you too, Neil. Good to see you, my dude. Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. Or the Trial of Kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin. I think we got a sigil on damn near every card, eh? Or... What's the other one? Blood? Let's go with the sigils. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Yeah, we're good. One from the Burt. One from <laughs> the Burt. One from the Pack Rat. One from Child 13. The trial was passed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Martin, I will, I will remain wet. Thank you, thank you for the hydration. Corpse maggots. This thing. And the pronghorn. This one's interesting because the the guy says like he didn't make the card and he doesn't know what it is. And when you right click on this uh, this thing here, it's all like inked out. But I think what this means is its attack power is equal to the number of times you've rang the bell on that um, in that round. Or maybe it's how many times you've rung the bell so far, and then when you play it, it stays at that amount. Something like that. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Phone keeps freezing up. Damn, sorry, Diane. That's annoying. Yet to be Link. Hell yeah. Have fun, Marin. I appreciate the lurk. Super Smash is awesome. It's so hard. Okay, let's go with this. Let's go with this guy. I can't remember what these mushrooms are. Do do you have the They are not victims. Oh yeah, it takes two duplicates and turns them into like a super strong version. This procedure, it is grisly. Look away. Yeah, creepy face, eh? <laughs> What, what have we done? So now we got a pack rat with four attack and four damage. Or four health. <laughs> it's so hard, Marin. I've always been so bad at, at Smash Brothers. Is this a mirror pictures thing? Mirror pictures thing. What do you mean? Okay, what do we got? Beehive and a Rattler. That Rattler's going to do some major damage. So we want to kill him as quick as we can. How much does three damage? Okay, we don't have anyone strong enough to fuck him quite yet. Oh, actually, we could use the skink, though, because the skink will become a tail. And then the skink will move, so let's do that. Let's play the skink here. So this one, what this sigil means is when this card's about to get attacked, um, it creates a tail and this tail stays in its place, the skink will move over to here, and then the tail will get attacked. Like that. Cool. Um, fuck, this is tough. Let's play the stink bug. Uh, oops. Draw another card. And let's play the stink bug here. Because he will take away this adder's attack power. Um, this one, the stinky. The creature opposing a card bearing this sigil loses one power. So it'll reduce this adder's attack power to zero. So we're safe there. Thank you. 
what was what? What did I miss there? It says to a mirror pictures thing yet. That changes each time. Catch all you beautiful peeps later. Six hour drive. Hell yeah, Kenzie. Have fun, dude. <laughs> I know, Diane. It's so annoying. The male skins are ruthless. I don't know what you're talking about, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm confused. Um, okay. Let's see. Wolf, bee, bullfrog. So stink bug will kill the beehive and will kill the adder. We gotta kill this rattler. Um, I think we could kill him with the wolf. Yeah, that works. So we'll do two bees and we'll sacrifice both bees. Card, got a pack rat, pretty sweet. I don't think I can play anything right now, that's okay. I think we'll have them pretty soon. Yeah, got them. Hacked up your card. Oh, um, yeah, we didn't see that yesterday. So that, if you have, um, I can't remember which, oh, it's the, the little mushrooms. So if you land on this space here, um, and you have two of the same card, it'll hack them up and make one one strong version. Carl, episodes of Frontier to watch. Hell yeah, have fun, dude. Cervantes, you're out of here. Fuck yeah. Have an awesome day, man. Have an awesome day. Okay, mirror and pictures. Are you talking about this picture frame here? Uh, is it girl? Because I think I've, I've done this picture puzzle twice, so I don't know if it happens again. Um... But I've gotten that one. I don't know what the mirror is, though. I'm not sure what the mirror is. Hacking of two cards. Yeah, it, it, it is good because you get a, one extra strong one. Um, there was one... One time I had two bullfrogs, and they both... Or how did this go? I can't remember. There's one time it, it, it wasn't a good thing. Because uh, I had two small cost bullfrogs that I liked cycling between and then it hacked them and put them into one card but um, yeah usually it's not bad okay which way do we want to go don't need an item so let's go this way <laughs> I know I know I wish I uh like, I started it, I started playing it, and then was like, oh, I want to play this one on stream because it's super cool, but I, I knew that was going to be a, an annoying thing, is that we didn't all learn, we didn't all learn the rules together. Um, let's see, let's do more. We don't have any bone guys. Reginald, let's go. Okay, so whose sigil do we want? And who do we want to give it to? I feel like this is a pretty pretty good one. Reggie? Sacrifice Reggie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get into it, I'm like, oh, this game's so fun. has zero idea what the hell's going on. Yeah, I know. I know. It's confusing. It's just you're playing a fighting a guy with the card game. Do you guys want me to explain like each each move a little bit more so that you understand it? I didn't want to do that. I, I felt like it would get too annoying and take too long if I explained each and every move, but we could do that. Um, I don't think I want to sacrifice Reginald because he costs bones and having... I, it's only him and the stink bug that costs bones. <laughs> yeah, cards doing damage to the other guy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Jen. Okay, I'll explain a little bit more. So, basically, there's 
each spot on the map, those little symbols that you walk to, will do a different thing. This one, what we're doing here is we can take one card to act as a sacrifice, and what it's going to do is going to remove that card from our deck completely, but it's going to take this sigil. Remember, these sigils are kind of like, they like upgrade the cards. They do a variety of different things, but it's going to take um, one of these sigils and attach it to another card. So right now I'm trying to decide who, the skink's pretty good. Like this sigil, this is the one where if this guy gets attacked, he creates a tail and moves, so he survives the attack. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. Like we could sacrifice him and give that sigil to somebody else. I think this one's pretty good too. Let's do this. So this is child 13. So when a card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Kara, nice to see you. So let's give this one. Well, it's just because I have to, Jen. Like, I can't leave. The game forces you to do stuff. So it's like I could... I have to sacrifice one of these cards. I have no... There's no other option. So I'm trying to think of like a card with a good sigil that isn't super, super important. Kara, nice to see you. If you're lucky, you can create a really sick card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna do this. So let's sacrifice him and then let's give that sigil to... So who's somebody that we don't want to die? We can sacrifice but won't die. Yeah, we get to decide who the this the sigil goes to. Um, I mean, we could give that one to the skink. The skink's pretty sweet. Let's do that. So now that one's gone, and now our skink also has that other sigil attached to it. Okay, now we're going to fight a boss. So this boss is the angler. He's pretty tough, but we beat him actually pretty easily last time. So I'll kind of explain the moves that I'm doing here a little bit more. Um, uh, a couple of the secrets that I found in the cabin uh, give me these greater smoke cards that I can play at the start of each boss fight. How many levels and challenges are there? I'm not too sure. We've gotten to the th uh, third boss. I haven't beaten the third boss yet. So this is the second boss. You beheld an immense man slouched behind a mucky pond, or beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up. Probably pigeons. And some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. Fish. All right. Okay, so now let me think about this. So when you kill this guy for the first time, I'm just trying to remember what he does. Every single card that you have in play here. Another thing, the bosses, the, um, you see they have these two candles, so you have to beat the bosses twice. And after the first time, they, they usually do, after you beat them the first time, they usually do some kind of unique, take some unique action. And what this one does is any cards that I have in play, after I beat him the first time, he's going to put a, uh, a bucket in front of them. And when I attack that bucket, the bucket becomes a great white shark. And the great whites are extremely powerful. So the idea is, but when I beat him the first time, I want to have as few cards in play as possible to avoid those great whites. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's try and just get some huge damage going on this guy immediately. With as few cards as possible. They all do just do one damage, which is kind of shitty. Let's put a smoke in there. 
not crawfish. <laughs> B does too, that's true, because of the bifurcated strike. I usually just use the B as a sacrifice, but that's a good idea. Let's throw the B in there. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, and he also has this hook. So he's gonna he's gonna take the last card that I play and it becomes one of his own cards so okay I'm thinking let's pull a new card Music's great, hey. Break up the oh yeah, good call. We use the squirrel here. So we'll give him the squirrel. Okay, let's just do that. We need to get a we need a card with some high attack. Oh no, we got him. Okay, sweet. Actually no, that sucks. Shouldn't have played the squirrel. Fuck. So now there's three great whites in there. Oh no, actually this is okay, because this bucket won't turn into a great white unless it gets attacked and the squirrel can't attack. So that's, oh no, it will, because this one. But this one won't get attacked. Um, sacrifice B and smoke for what though? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, we got tubs, okay. Let's do this. We're gonna sacrifice the B. We're gonna put tubs here. So tubs is going to attack an empty space, which means he's gonna put four teeth in here. Um, the squirrel won't attack this guy. The smoke will attack this, so this will become a great white shark. But then what we can do is use the hook item to pull that shark so that the shark's mine. We'll do that on the next turn, and I think we might we might have him there. Let's find out. Go fish. Okay, smoke's gone. I'm going to use this hook. Where is it? Oh, yeah, i got to pull a card first. Um, pull it. Use this. Okay, now the great white shark is ours. I'm just gonna attack, and I think we'll have him. Boom. Got him. Got him. Heck yeah. <laughs> there you go. A nice girl. <laughs> no worries. No worries. I hope you're having a good time. Reignite. Boom. Okay, we got him. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Ouroboros, amoeba. Oh, yeah. Josh was saying it was the Ouroboros, right? <laughs> yeah, I am the fucking tooth fairy, baby. Uh, because I think I sacrificed the Ouroboros last time. Josh said there's something cool about the Ouroboros. Okay, sweet. Shaken, but with a newfound resolve, you move past the pond where the angler now lay. We will need another map. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. It reminds me of Gajira, yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, I gotta take a little pee pee poo poo break. Let's go ahead and take a pee pee poo poo break. Um, be back in just a couple minutes. Everybody stretch, get some water, get some coffee, whatever you need. 
and will be RB. Pro streamer. What should we read? We should read uh read like a hustler magazine or something. <laughs> More decisive and confident in playing the cards. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I put like a good couple hours into it the first few times I played it off stream. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I'll now that we're kind of back to regular battles, I'll explain what's going on a little bit more. C for me, okay, cool. Let us know how it is, man. That's <laughs> scary movie. Uh, you guys are funny. Everybody poops. Yeah, I actually do want to read that one. Later, go rider. Okay, which one's this again? I I always forget which one this is. Is this the trial? Yeah, it's the trial. Okay. The trial of health. Three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Or the trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. The sigil, I think, worked well last time. Let's try this again. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Two from the tongue, zero from the stoat, one from the bell tentacle. Success. Oh, yeah, because we had two on this guy. Fuck yeah. There. Rattler, ringworm another one of these guys now this one's the mirror and I can't remember what this is or I haven't figured this one out yet oh actually I think this its attack power is equal to the one across from it I think is how that works um, this sigil removes one attack power from its opponent what does this one do once a card bearing this sigil is struck a bee is created in your hand okay so you get a bee every time this is struck and this one moves, but also pushes other things. At the end of this owner's, at uh, the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Let's go with that one. Yeah, kind of. I'm, I'm like the same thing, girl. I like. Uh, I feel like I got the card playing. I'm getting better at beating the bosses. I don't think we've beat this next boss yet. Um, okay, we do want to hit a fire at some point, if we can. It's tough to say. I'm not seeing a fire coming up anytime soon. I'd like to avoid these battles because they're a little bit harder. So let's go here. Frozen possum. What does this do again? To the user. Your creatures... Your your creatures will attack as though they have an, the airborne sigil this turn. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to take the bones. I like the bones. All right, battle. Missed a lot in the beginning. It's a definitely, there's a lot of layers to this game for sure. Okay, I got to play this Ouroboros, so... Let's play him against the bowl, I suppose. Let's play the B. Oh shit, he takes two sacrifices. Never mind. Um, only thing I could make is the beehive. Is it worth sacrificing the ant for the beehive? Or should I just wait till the next turn? Oh shit, I already played the B. I can't unplay it. All right, let's make a beehive. Oh shit! Neither of these attack each other. So, oh yeah, but this guy moves. Um. Sorry, I was going to explain my thoughts a little bit more here. Um, so basically, I need to... I don't have enough... I think what I'm going to do on this 
move. I'm going to pull a B because the Bs don't cost anything to make. And I'm going to play this Ouroboros. So I have to play both Bs first. The Ouroboros says that two blood in the top right corner, which means I have to sacrifice two of my cards. Fawn or the turkey vulture. He doesn't die. That's what this sigil means. So when he die, or sorry, he does die, but he just goes right back into my hand. So let's put him here. I just want to see what happens when he dies. And you ring the bell to end your turn. And then the other guy takes his turn. Ooh, almost fucked. Oh shit. The I'm an idiot. The vulture doesn't attack the Ouroboros. The vulture just attacks me straight on. Um, I should have put the Ouroboros here. Sacrifice the beehive for the stoked. Let's kill this <laughs> elk fawn. Yeah, lost. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Pity. Alright, I got two lives left. This way. Oh, there's a fire there. Perfect. <laughs> Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Trial of Blood. <laughs> Shit. Or the trial of kid. Sigils has been working. Let's keep going. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Oh shit. Nice. Who got very lucky there? Zero from the something. One from the stink bug. Two from the tunk. Success. Raven egg, wolf cub, or mantis. What boss do we have coming up? Trapper. Yeah, totally, Priscilla. <laughs> um, trapper's coming up. What is what's his uh that's his free to steal the sigil from? Yeah, that's a good point. And this is a good sigil too, right? When a card when a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. So that's handy. Let's take those. What's going on with this fire here? You came across the remains of a small settlement. Ah, this is interesting. No living person remained. It must have been something they ate. <laughs> the fire sputtered on in spite of their absence. Interesting. So I wonder if that outcome changes based on what you feed them. It probably does, hey? Like, that's something that I never even probably would have tried. I always would have just been like, nope, I'm, uh, I'm sticking with my... One upgrade and I'm taking off. Um, adding one attack power, eh? Let's add one to Reginald. Uh, yeah, I think it's too late now. Oh no. Um, or do we just want to make Tubbs or Bert just like absolutely mental? One attack power to Mantis. Actually, yeah, that's good, because then he does four, four damage. Whoa, hold up. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, so that Mantis is gonna do a 10, 10 attack now. Holy moly, that's cool. Man, that's that's cool. What an interesting. That's really really neat. So we um, killed the the travelers by the fire by feeding them a uh, a snake. Uh, what what is it? The um, adder. And um, so when we went to the next fire, there were no people there. They were all dead. So you could upgrade the you could upgrade the uh, the card all the way with no risk. 
Anything with skull and cross crossbone sigil. What if you fed like? Is there anything you could do to like make them even stronger or do other shit based on the sigil? Make them stinky. Make them fly. I wonder. Yo, Caleb. Fucking one year gang. Let's go, man. <coughs> How you doing, Caleb? That's the only special one. All right. Um, okay. So, these raven eggs will turn into ravens after one turn if they survive. Um, that's what this sigil means. The porcupine. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. So, you attack this guy, you lose one health. Yeah, it's been a while, man. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Fuck yeah. Have you played this? This is Inscription, Caleb. It's really good. Okay, let's just get tubs in here and start laying down the fucking law. And hopefully we can get that, um... Hopefully we can get that, uh... Mantis in here. Oh, yeah. I don't want to sacrifice tubs just yet, though, so we're going to have to wait. One round. Oh, but, like, placing right here is perfect. Okay. extra teeth it's fucking good like yeah I like tubs too tubs is badass the creepy eyes it's so cool how those cards are made too if anyone hasn't seen it yet I won't spoil it but Deciding the cost, right? Ooh, that's a new um, little power thing. I hadn't seen that. Yeah, I, I knew you could. I knew you could upgrade. I know you can upgrade any card. A few emaciated corpses lay within an abandoned settlement. What did you feed them? The fire looked welcoming as always. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So now we're upgrading more power. Um, Tubs or Tunk or Bert just turn all these guys into absolute killing machines. I mean, Tunk's already got the one hit kill. Let's go with, um, let's make, let's just turn Bert into a fucking badass dude. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Jan, if you're, if you're not enjoying this, you don't have to be here. You never have to be here, Jan. <laughs> I do believe it does end. Okay. Um, okay, we got tubs. Fuck yeah. Wolf cub or raven egg? Wolf's probably more of a pain in the ass, so let's get rid of the wolf cub. Tubs is hard as fuck. Sacrifice forever, that's pretty badass. Tubs is a fucking unit, but this is a huge attack. So we need to get another. Need to get someone else on the board there. Uh, you gotta do B. 
Anybody a bird blocker? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, these like fluttering flying cards. If even if there was somebody here, they'd still just attack me directly. So they're pretty. You gotta you gotta take care of them. Um, don't have enough bones for Reginald. I guess let's get the stoat in there. Uh, uh. Ooh, and another wolf. Okay, this is rough. Whoa! Wow, we got fucking... We got smoked. God damn. <laughs> the guy across the table suddenly leaps over and kills him. That would be the most disappointing ending. <laughs> uh, we saw like a death yesterday, but we didn't we didn't get to like the end of the game. Okay, so we definitely got to just go back to the fire. This fire is amazing right now. Uh, let's pick again. That looks pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sorry, I said I was gonna I was gonna explain a little bit more. Um, each of these, you're basically playing a board game against this disembodied pair of eyes here. Um, that's kind of the premise of the game: is you, the player, are playing a board game against this person. You can walk around the cabin, and there's other secrets, but we won't bother with that for now. Um, each of these, you can kind of choose which way you're going. It's all leading towards a boss, which is this guy here. Um, and then each of these symbols just denotes a different, like, event that's going to occur. So right now I'm going to go around a fire pit earlier in the game. Ba basically what this means is I can upgrade a card here. Let's just leave. We'll, we'll keep it simple for now. <laughs> um, basically what I can do here is upgrade the attack power of any one of my cards. Tubbs got four, Bert's got eight. Tunk? Tunk or Tubbs? Let's go with Tubbs. Um, and the card, the like actual card battle mechanics are pretty simple. Um, I'll explain kind of as we go here. <laughs> Uh, you took in the familiar sights and scents of the trapper's pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. <laughs> yeah, so the card mechanics is like... Okay, so basically, the goal is to put enough golden teeth on this scale that this reaches all the way to the end, okay? Um, each of these cards has a health value and then an attack value. If you attack an empty space, it puts one on your opponent here. So this is your opponent and this is me. If you attack one empty space here, uh, one golden tooth will go into uh, his side of the scale and vice versa with when he attacks me. So the name of the game is you need to clear the enemies out of these spaces and then attack the empty spaces. And from there, it's just strategizing. So, for example, this stoat can absorb three damage before he dies, and he can do one damage. So if I played this stoat right here, and he attacked this empty space, one gold tooth would go in here, okay? If the stoat's attack power was three, and I attacked an empty space, three gold teeth would be there. If the stoat had an attack power of one and attacks an enemy, it'll reduce its health value by one. And then obviously when it gets to zero, um, this card's gone, it's dead. And then it's an empty space there or another card that's gonna, going to be played. Um, and that's the basics of it. 
Um, where it gets a little bit more complicated is these sigils, these symbols here in the middle. So you can right click on each one. The sigil is called Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. So there's another sigil called the airborne sigil where those enemies will just attack directly over top of a, um, of a card here. And they'll just dire uh, directly attack and add teeth to the scale instead of having to deal with the opponent here. But what this one does is it blocks that sigil. So it's just a lot of strategizing based on the sigils, essentially. But it's really, it's just like, clear out the cards, attack the empty spaces. The arrows mean that are, and why are they sometimes in the top row? Um, you mean these arrows? They're always in the top row. You just, you get to see what cards your, uh, this guy's playing on the next turn. These are always your opponents, these four here, and then these are always mine. <laughs> Stick to Uno. You say hey to my girlfriend Carlos who did so. <laughs> Jamie, what's up? Hell yeah. What's going on, Jamie? Um, it sounds complicated. I'll sort of explain what I'm thinking as we go along here. How do you get pelts from bones? Yeah, so there's other mechanics. There's the sacrificing of the bones, but don't work. Don't worry about the sacrificing of the bones yet. Let's just focus on the combat. And what's going on, boss? Nice to see you. Okay, so now this is a little more complex because we're in a boss fight right now, and the bosses have these special things that they do. You have to beat each boss two times, and after the first time you beat them, they'll do something shitty basically that'll fuck you um so this boss this is a weird one all of these strange frogs when you kill them they'll turn into these leaping traps and when you kill a leaping trap it also kills your card and turns your card into a pelt and a pelt is basically just something you can still play it like you could put a pelt here uh, but it doesn't attack or anything it would just block damage from a from an opponent here um but once you beat him, so when he's dead uh, the first time, he gives you a, this huge array of, I think it's eight cards. And for each pelt, you can pick a card. So the name of the game with this boss is to have sacrificed a lot of your own cards for pelts before you, before you uh, kill him. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, he's short. Hopefully that made sense. It might not make any sense. But so I think what we want to do is sacrifice some of these weaker cards for pelts. Like honestly, we could probably just sacrifice a bunch of bees, and turn the bees into pelts. Get one or two strong cards in there to deal all the damage. But then we also have to not die too, because he's attacking us the whole time. Okay, so my B. Oh yeah, fuck, I'm an idiot. The leaping trap has to kill you, not the frog. Um, okay, so let's kill these strange frogs. What does this mean? I don't know this. Card counter, don't know that. Okay, um... Stoat's not the most valuable, so let's see. Actually, let's do the B1. How's the scale look okay. What, right now what I'm trying to do is get as many of these traps in here as possible. And now I want to start playing cards that are going to um, get killed by these traps and then turn into pelts. Those knives moving next to it. Uh, yeah, they are. It's creepy, eh? Yeah, these 
boss fights aren't typical battles, so it's kind of hard to explain. Um, let me just see this here. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. Pelt is created in your hand. So actually, we can't use the bees to attack these because the bees attacking this bifurcated strike. Okay, so I'm going to play a bee so I can sacrifice it for my stoat. I'm going to put the stoat here. Now, the stoat should get turned into a pelt, I believe. I think we're going to lose. Fuck. Need to do some damage. Ugh, this is bad. Um, I think I need to use a knife. Slice my eye out so that I can. Okay, I can also get him to skip a turn if I need. Uh, okay, we need to get one of those strong cards in there. So. Oh man, like, I can't tell if it's. You only get to draw one card at the start of your turn. So right now I'm wondering if I should. You have to play a B before you can play any other card, basically, because you need to sacrifice it. That's what this blood in the top right, top right hand corner here means. I'm wondering if I basically skip playing it this turn, so that at the start of the next turn I can draw a card, hoping it's one of our strong cards that require only one sacrifice, and then play the B and that strong card. Or if I play the B now and this card, but then it's gonna take an extra turn to get a strong card on the board. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, no worries, Priscilla. Play it by the trap and it won't die. No, I'm just wondering. Oh, the B? Oh yeah, good call, actually. could sacrifice the next turn pick a card and sacrifice the bee that's already on here okay let's see what happens come on oh, shit. Man, we need one of those strong cards this is bad this is going so bad um, I think we're gonna. I have an item that can skip the next turn. I don't have an eye in my right side though, so I can't see. I don't want to destroy these traps. I want these traps to turn me into pelts. Because you can't beat the second phase without pelts. Actually, maybe with my strong cards you could. Oh man, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what the best strategy is. these two traps, which might be a really bad idea in the end, but I guess we'll find out. Oh no, this will get turned into a pelt, so that's good. Not one pelt. He passes his turn. Sacrifice the stink bug. 
hard. Just like I'm really, I'm banking on getting one of these strong cards because like, okay, let's put um, Bullfrog or this guy in there. I'm gonna just assume that the attack power is equal to the cards in your hand, maybe. So let's just see if that. I haven't seen that sigil before though. Super high attack. Good, good, good. Boom, done. Okay, this is not good though. The skinning knife turns. Let's trade. So then now he lays all these cards out. <laughs> and however many pelts we have, we can take those cards, and then he keeps the rest. So it is, fuck man, he's got a grizzly, he's got, I can't really see what that one is. Okay, so which two should we take? cost but we do have lots of bones so yeah Rattler's probably a good one because these also just a very high cost like sacrifice of three that's tough yeah it's such a cool effect hey take whatever is in front of the tent oh yeah good call um, tentacle was in the third row right to uh, 
that'll do seven, so that'll be nine. That might be it, hey? Let's try and get one more guy in there. short-circuited there holy schmokes boz hell yeah i'm from i am from saskatchewan in canada okay awesome i haven't beat that boss before need a light got his ass fucking got his ass perhaps one of these will entice you Child 13, Strange Larva, or Grayoli, or, or, or Rayuli. Rayuli is just too costly. Um, This Child 13, I think, is pretty sweet. Let's try that again. I played it, but he hasn't died. Would you care for a new eye? Oh, yeah, this is cool. To pick a new eye, but... Oh, yeah, I haven't played the Larva yet, either. I remember you saying the Larva was good. From the UK? Fuck yeah, Boz. Whereabouts in the UK? We were just there uh, last month. The enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You can see a light in the distance. The end is near. <laughs> no, I, I only picked one eye once. I didn't pick a green one. Or I didn't even pay attention to what color I picked it. You came to Bristol, right? Right, I remember you saying that. Fuck yeah, dude. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Something neat's happening. Let's get an item. Yeah, you zip it, Josh. You could get, get uh, giving me fucking spoilers. Golden knife, special dagger. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, yeah, okay. The eye cutting. Um, or a squirrel, hey? This is pretty useful. Knife? Okay. <laughs> um, squirrel's usually good. Some squirrel juice? Hell, yeah. I'll get you some squirrel, squirrel juice, Jan. Um, yeah, fan's pretty tight, eh? Okay, this is interesting. I, I feel like, oh my god, okay. I think I just, something just clicked. Um, here's my theory. <laughs> to wash away that music. Um, here's my theory. This little guy that you are, um, he's going to come. This is the cabin that I'm in. This is my theory. And this guy's going to come on in. And all those little, those little wooden trinkets that we were looking at earlier. And I was like, I don't know what these are all about yet. I feel like those are like previous travelers who have come to this cabin and died or something. That's my, that's my guess. And that wasn't part of the spoilers that I read. So anyways. Your eyes affix themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. Cabinception. Interesting, interesting. Okay, this is cool. Oh shit. Oh fuck. 
Yeah, not. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. Steps away from the strange cabin, you're presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. I don't even know what, how do you know what, which cards are rare card. Trial of the Find. The three drawn cards must include a card with the waterborne sigil. The trial of skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. Ooh. Tabby, you're out of here. Have a great day. Um, so this was the rare card. The waterborne. I don't think I have very many waterborne. And I have no pelts. <laughs> As the skin couch count. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta go with this one. Let the trial of rarity begin. <laughs> totally, girl. Are one of these rare? Mm, not a single rare card. Fuck. Failure. We will repeat that once more. Trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I don't think I have a ring. Trial of the winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. That one's doable. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. I have a, quite a few with this one, I think. Probably more than the airborne. So let's go with this. Let the trial of the swift begin. Oh, we got a lucky. Oh, Ouroboros counts as a ring. Damn, I didn't think of that. Fuck, there's a lot of shit that I never would have thought of in this game. It's so cool. Success. I'll grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you when you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. That's fucking badass. The boon of goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. So a black goat is, um, is one that you can sacrifice that costs three. It's one sacrifice, but it, it costs, or it like gives you three blood. So if you were playing a grizzly, for example, you could just sacrifice the black goat. And play the the uh, um, the grizzly. Okay, so the boon of goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board, or the boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, Josh. <laughs> Skin of your gold teeth. Okay. Um, so this one was, I can pick any card. This one is the black goat. That one I'm not as interested in. Or draw twice. I'm torn between um, pick any card and draw twice. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. And let me find out some of these secrets on my own. <laughs> yeah, so the pick is the, the magpie is probably the best. All right, let's keep going towards this cabin. <laughs> yeah, man, this is cool. This is a wonderful game. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. And am I going to have to play myself or something like that? Oh. <laughs> you took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? I hope you're adequately prepared. Oh, God. I don't know what's happening. We walked into the cabin and then... This guy, now we can see his face. I hope you're adequately prepared. Perhaps one more to be safe. Oh no. 
So I gotta beat this guy three times. Kara, always great to see you. Have an awesome day. Okay, Josh, I will take some help on this one because I don't wanna have I don't wanna lose. I don't wanna get this far and then lose and then have to restart. So definitely, definitely need some help on this fight here. Um Yeah, the purple's nice. Okay, so shoot, what do we got? What do we got? We got a mole man coming. So he's a bird blocker. And he blocks all empty attacks. What the fuck is this? Oh, the amalgam. Three and three. Um, protect the top guy. both smokes in there. Uh, actually, yes, the momentum move, whatever. Can't do anything about that. Um, Tunk has a one-hit kill. Get Tunk to kill the mole man. B to the right. B could attack here and here. Mole Man would block both of those, though. Let's get Tunk in here to kill the Mole Man. So I think what'll happen is Mole Man will block this one and then this one, and then when he goes to block Tunk, he'll die. This only does one. Oh well. Okay. There we go. That's one down. No shit. What? <laughs> you capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. You can't take three damage. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appear. Their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Bodges. Casey. I remember that one fondly. Oh lordy, lordy, lordy. Um, actually, Bert might kill Bodges. I'm pretty sure that this, the damage goes through. 
should I just sacrifice the other smoke for another strong guy? Boz, have a great night, my dude. Get a big beefy guy. Okay, let's we'll sacrifice another smoke for him. So let's get uh, tubs. Okay, and we should play him. Nam on Twitch, what's going on? Ooh, that was rough. We just lost like our strongest guys. Yikes. Yeah, it's a super fun game. Oof. I'm debating like do I use the knife right now and just Kill, like get past the second phase on this next turn. Yeah, rut row is right. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use the knife. Oh, or should I save it? I only do two damage. Yeah, that's true. I get one there. Okay, let's do. Ah, oh, shit, that was stupid. Plays the B, so it's just a question of do I play the B or do I just save it for the next turn? May as well save it so I can actually make a card on the next turn. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Jan. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is a pretty good one. This one's pretty strong. One sacrifice. Let's take this. Oh shit, but it takes the last card. It takes the last card that you play. Son of a fucker. character that was created like when you die you create a new character um, the 
smoke is one of the puzzles in the house to get the smoke. Sacrifice. I either pull a B and then play one of these cards, which will be kind of strong, or I pull a card that costs bones and use the bones. Do I? You have three lives on this one? Are you sure? I think I still only have one, but he has three. Dunzo, son of a gun. That is fucking hard. You made it so far. Fuck. Tough game. Your death card, beautiful. Though it could use some detail. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Go with one cost. Another. This time I'll use its power and health. The numbers. Yeah, this is a weak one. Zero power and three health from the mirror tentacle. Oh, that zero? I thought it was going to also take the mirror. <laughs> I'm making the shittiest card ever. I choose a card from which we will attract the sigils. Um, go with that one, I guess. A sigil of bifurcated strike and a sigil of ant spawner from the mantis. Never did ask your name. Who should we name this one? Fucking uh sock. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. And that will be all. God damn. Fuck, that game is so hard. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this is yet either. This happens sometimes when you die. Or does this happen each time you beat a new a new boss, maybe? Knife, okay. So close that last one. I doubt you will make it as far with your deck. Alright. Um Let's see. Do we want to give it another shot? That took quite a while to get there. Maybe we'll just leave it there for today. Marin, welcome back. Link with some butt. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so hard. We got to the, I think, the last boss. Um, but died. We died. So, 
Yeah, I'm going to leave it for today. My brain's a little bit mushy. So maybe we'll do one more stream of this at some point. Try, I'll try and finish it on stream. I feel like it's going to have a cool ending. So I kind of want to finish that on stream. But uh, Tomorrow we'll do something different. We'll do either... Um, <laughs> We'll do, uh, let's go back here. Whoa, shit. Hold up. Uh, where the fuck is it here? There we go. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we'll either do fart game or, uh, <laughs> I love the music. Um, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll raid. We'll raid out for sure. We'll raid out. Um, yeah, either Fart Game or Banjo tomorrow. See how I'm feeling. Or maybe we'll do like a little vote in the Discord or something. But uh, same time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Nam Nam, thank you for the follow. Thanks for tuning in again, everybody. I appreciate the heck out of you all. Hope you had a good time. Um, let's see who's online. I like the guy we raided yesterday. He was really nice. What was his name? Daniel. Daniel Matt. The Daniel Matt or something like that. He's on again playing Outer Wilds. Go say hi to him again. Half banjo, half game. I was thinking that too. Yeah. Do like maybe an hour of banjo at the start and then move into the fart game or something. That could be fun. Marion came in just to say goodbye. Hell yeah, Marion. Good to see you. Uh, Tyler Lebs is also on. Grant is on. Man, everybody's on. Ben's on. Chains on, man, holy moly. Everybody's on right now. Uber Guitar Dude is on. Krieger is on. Emmy, she was nice. We raided her once. She was playing Outer Wilds. After just a fart, after eating a hot pot, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go give a raid to... Uh... Let's go to Grant. We haven't raided Grant in a long time. Grant's a beauty. See what he's up to here. I keep it right next to the Juno. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, Grant's awesome. It's because they had a Grant. Hell yeah, guys. Thank you all very, very much. Um, I appreciate it. I love doing this. Love that you guys keep tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. See you tomorrow. Same time. 